So today we are going to continue from the part three of our Angular and Spring Boot API UI uh, tutorial. And today we are going to be working on the homepage. In the previous tutorial, we've been able to set up routing. We'll be able to uh, display different components based on the parts typed in the browser. And today we are now going to work on the UI. So this is what we are trying to achieve. We are going to use Angular Material and Font Awesome as well. So, uh, let's go back to where we are so now this is the page uh, the home component is what we are going to be working on so let's go let's open the home component and just open the html file at this point so for now this is html file not in there we only have a basic template and for now this component is empty so let's follow the procedure it's always good to follow procedures now here in my website you can see that we have the container uh, tag okay the container is what encloses everything all these buttons and we have a row row one and we have different columns all right so here we have one row and we have four columns all right but you can have as many rows as you want you can create a grid of different buttons and it's kind of kind of looks beautiful so let me copy and paste and then i'm going to explain it to you so i'm going to copy this and paste it and let's see how it appears i'm going to say command v and i'm going to say control s just to save it so if i go back to friends uh, ui and go back to home you can see that we have um we have a basic button that displays there okay you can see but it's lapping on top of the on top of the uh, on top of the, the the page close to the banner so let's correct this problem and I can also go back to my website. Now, before, okay, let's let's correct this problem first, then I'm gonna tell you a bit about font awesome. Uh, we have that container margin top, so we are going to add margin, a top margin of 5% uh, to the container so that it adds a, a little margin on top. So to do that, Open the styles of CSS file. Open the styles of CSS file and simply add a custom style like this. Sorry. Uh, add this custom style. So it's going to apply a margin of five percent to the container. So if I save it now and go back to the French UI, you can see it shifts a little bit. So I'm going to give you an assignment. So add additional buttons here and style them the way you like. Uh, maybe copy and paste but let me just show you how font awesome works so let's go back to the home so when you have let me increase this a little bit so we have this we have a h r e f okay so we have column we have this now this is where the work is we have this uh class is equal to button span i is equal to f a users f a users is the is a font awesome icon that displays there I, i'll later show you how to increase the the size of the icon to be a little bit bigger all right so let's move on to the next part we've set up our home page and i'm going to move to the straight to the next part by hitting on the on the part two so in this part uh we are going to set up the html table and display the data make a get request and display data on a html table all right so now the HTTP client model is used to make HTTP GET requests. In Angular, there are different models that can help you do a whole lot of things. But to make GET requests or to make POST requests, uh, you have to use the HTTP client module. To be able to fetch data, you need to first add the HTTP client module to your app module collection. The app module collection is simply the app model.ts so you need to add the model in here so you have to come here and say uh http client model and it adds right there take note that it automatically adds the import in the header here but if it doesn't add you manually have to add this import statement all right uh i'm going to shift this one downward a bit the nice thing we are going to do in the friend component.ts the friend component.ts is a typescript file that actually drives the html component we have 
French component HTML, we also have equivalent French component TS, which is a, like a, like JavaScript, but it's TypeScript. Uh, TypeScript is a super site of JavaScript. We also have French component CSS. I think there are four of them. So we are going to go to the TypeScript file and specify the same way we created a POJO, that is a, the class that represents a friend object. We need to create it as well in the TypeScript file as well. So I'm going to go to friend component.cs and we are going to add this class. We are going to add it as a first thing just after the import statement. So I'm going to simply copy it, uh, copy it and simply add it here. Uh, all right. So that's basically what you need to do. So we've defined this class, okay? Um, step three, in the same file, on the friend component class, add friend variable of type friend. So we are saying that we also need to hold an array of friends. So if, if a list of friends comes by a get request, it has to be put into an array of friends. To do that, we are going to, uh, in the friend component adds class, we need to add uh, somewhere here, we are going to define friends. Uh, friends should be of type friends array. Okay, so this is what we should do. Okay, so uh, TypeScript is always complaining. Okay, this is fine. All right, so hopefully you are following. The next thing we are going to do, let me just scroll up. Add HTTP clients variable as parameter to the constructor. Now, HTTP clients, uh, as I told you, is used to make get requests, but HTTP client is available in HTTP client module. We've added the module. Now I'm going to add as parameter to this constructor here, I'm going to add HTTP client uh, variable. So I'm going to call it HTTP client. HTTP client uh, should be of type HTTP client like this. Okay. So this is what you should do. So we need HTTP client. And finally, we need to write get friends method. So say write get friends method as shown here. I'm going to copy and paste because it's clearer when you, you are looking at the code on, on, on type uh, in, in IntelliJ or VS code. So I'm going to copy this and simply paste it right here, command B. Uh, why do we have this error? Create field adds as parameter to the constructor. Okay, let's see. Um, No. Uh, let's see. Add HTTP client variable as parameter to the constructor, which I already did. Which I already did. Um, so let's see where this problem is coming from. Why do we have this error? Uh, does not exist in friend component. Why? Uh, oh, but wait. Okay, something there is some mix up, but this is how it should be. Okay. Uh, okay, so that is fine. So. Now, let me just show you how the get friends methods work. So when we have uh, these are HTTP clients that get, uh, get any, okay? Uh, it can actually be get list of friends, but it's okay. And we have the, 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 the URL where we have our API sending a list of friends. Let's just make sure what this URL is. So I'm going to go here and say, HTTP, I'm going to say localhost uh, port uh, 9001 and friend. 
Oh, sorry, I have a typo here. Okay, so this is the actual URL that contains the list of frames. So let me just copy it and we are going to use it here. So this is the URL you need to specify, command B, okay? And that should be clear for you. Now, when the response comes, you say dot .subscribe. When you say dot .subscribe, you now specify a Lambda function that is going to execute. So that Lambda function is going to store the value returned in the response variable. And then I want to display the list of items in the console, okay? The list of frames that are returned in the console. And then we are also going to store, save this uh, response in the friends variable that we created. You remember we created this, the array of friends. Okay, so we want to put all this list of items returned. We want to save it in this uh, variable on this on this component. All right, so now we are not done yet. Let me just go back here. The next thing we need to do is to call like this step six here, call this function on the on init method using this get frame. So here on init method, when this component loads, we are simply going to call the get frame. So I'm going to say this dot get frames. That's all. So when the component loads, it's going to retrieve this frames. And let's run this application now and let's check whether this frame is retrieved and it's going to be displayed in the console. So I'm going to simply save everything. Uh, when I save, it automatically reloads. So I'm going to shift this a bit and then go back here. And let's go here and go back to our frame UI. Okay. So I'm going to open the console window. So let me just go to open the console window like so. And I'm going to leave the console window open here. You see. So this is my console window. Let's see if frames is retrieved there. If I go to friends here and it says cannot read get of undefined. Okay, so let's see where the problem is coming from. Cannot read get of undefined. Give me one second, let me figure out where this problem is coming from. It says get of undefined. There's a problem. Um I think I mixed up something. Cannot read really get a font defined. So let's get back here. Um, get HTTP client dot get. Okay, so you're saying HTTP client is undefined. Okay, let's fix this. Uh, okay, so let's say private. Okay, perfect. Uh, duplicate identifier so I'm going to delete this one okay so you see the mistake I made before now so I, I forgot to put private and that was what was causing the previous problem so let me save everything at this point uh, save everything so now if you reload the page you can see that something is coming in here okay so maybe I'm just gonna increase this a little bit okay it doesn't actually increase the console but you can see in the console that something, the list of frames have been retrieved by AngularJS. So we have the list of frames now in our Angular UI app. And the nice part we are going to check, the nice part is going to be, it's a very interesting part, we are going to display this data retrieved in a HTML table. I'm going to be stopping here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe, like and share this video. Also leave me a comment if you have any challenge whatsoever. I'm always there to help you and I remain kind on the tech pro. I'll see you in the next part.